Today I will discuss about retinoscopy and overview. I am going to cover these following topics. Let's start with the introduction. What is retinoscopy? Retinoscopy is a clinical procedure by which refractive error of eyes are identified objectively with retinoscope. Now what is retinoscope? Retinoscope is an optical instrument used to estimate the refractive error of the eyes objectively. Objectively because patient doesn't need to do anything. Retinoscopy helps us to identify not only refractive error but also other ocular conditions like media opacities, corneal opacity, vitreal opacity, posterior capsular opacity, cataract. Posterior capsular cataract can easily be seen with retinoscope. Retinal detachment. Though rare, but in retinal detachment, the reddish reflex of fundus becomes grayish. Now, principle of retinoscopy. It is based on Foucault's principle. When light reflected from a mirror into the eye, the direction in which the light will travel across the pupillary area will depend upon refractive state of the eye. If with movement, hypermetropia or myopia less than working distance power, against movement, myopia, neutral movement, if neutral, myopia equal to working distance power, same movement in both meridian, emetropia or spherical refractive error, different movement in both meridian, astigmatism. Types of retinoscope. 1. Reflecting or mirror retinoscope Reflecting or mirror retinoscope are cheap and at one time were the most commonly employed. However, presently these are rarely used. A source of light is required when using mirror retinoscope, which is kept above and behind the head of the patient. 2. Self-illuminated retinoscope Self-illuminated retinoscope are costly but handy. These have become more popular nowadays. Two types of self-illuminated retinoscope are available. 1. Spot retinoscope 2. Streak retinoscope The streak retinoscope is more popular and most commonly used as it is more sensitive than spot retinoscope in detecting astigmatism. Spot vs. Streak retinoscope Spot self-illuminated retinoscope It provides a round shape illumination thus it's called spot retinoscope. It consists of a bulb with a tiny wired filament about 1 to 2 mm in size. This is imaged by a convex lens of about 20 mm focal length to give a beam of light which is reflected by a mirror at 45 degree angle. Streak Retinoscope In streak retinoscope, the illumination is provided by a special bulb that has a straight filament thus forming a streak in its projection. In clinical practice, we mostly use streak retinoscope, so we will cover details about streak retinoscope here. Parts of streak retinoscope Power switch To turn the retinoscope on and off To control the brightness of the light Small loop or light bulb It provides the light Electrical supply Batteries disposable or rechargeable in the retinoscope handle a power cord to connect the retinoscope to the main electricity. Mirror. It reflects the light from the globe into the person's eye. Retinoscope aperture or viewing hole. It allows the red reflex to be seen. Retinoscope slip. It rotates the axis of the retinoscope light and changes the light beam from divergence to convergence light. Characteristics of red reflex. Brightness Gets brighter as we get closer to the neutral point. Direction of movement With movement, hypermetropia or myopia less than working distance. Against movement, myopia more than working distance. Neutral, myopia equal to working distance power. Speed Becomes faster at closer to neutralization. Thickness become wider when getting closer to neutralization. In the next video, I will discuss about procedure of strict retinoscopy. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.